and welcome to Digital Marketing Today. Today we're talking to Randy Clark with Shrax. We'll be right back. And welcome to this week's episode of Digital Marketing Today. I'm Mark Neese with Sync Lab Media. We're happy to have Randy Clark, EVP of Sales with Shrax with us today. Going to have a conversation about data. Yeah. yeah. Nice to meet you, Mark. Thanks yeah. for having me in. Thanks I appreciate so much it. for uh, stopping in while you're in town. I yeah, no you, problem. Yeah. Um, so why don't we, uh, to start with, for the benefit of our audience, tell us a little bit about your background and kind of what led you to being part of Shrax today. Yeah, so I, I like to joke and say that, you know, I've been in the internet kind of digital marketing space since 1994. Um, so I didn't invent the internet, but I was in the room with Al Gore when okay. it all went down. <laughs> awesome. That's kind of my joke. But no, I, I started off as part of the first um, Internet Yellow Pages initiative at Bell South, okay. um, which then eventually became a consortium with SBC. Um, then AT&T became yellowpages.com and then yp.com and then spent some time with other um, digitally focused companies like Interactive Corp and AOL and some various startups and now with of course with Shrax. So it's been a, a pretty pretty long and developed career. You've been around the block. I've been around the block <laughs> a few times. Yeah. We used to sell display advertising at two hundred and fifty dollar CPMs mm -hmm. and um, they did and consumers didn't even know you could click on the ad. So wow. that's been a while. Wow. Wow. Things have really changed change and that's what I love about this industry <laughs> you know it's like if you don't like it don't worry because it's going to change in about two to three weeks right that's the way we feel about uh, our side of things as well sure you know? so well um, so let's talk a little bit about data because sure. that's what you guys are all about uh, bo both sides of the fence yeah um, and um, and I know that a lot of uh, particularly with a lot of the news um, going around, you know, about data, privacy, you know, all of those kinds of issues. But from a marketing standpoint, it's like the most critical <laughs> piece of the puzzle. So um, tell us a little bit about Shrax, um, kind of how you guys started and, and maybe a little bit about your philosophy about, you know, kind of both sides of that from the consumer and also from the, mar the marketing side of it. Sure, yeah, we were, um, we started back in 2010 as a company that, with, with a, as a goal to provide companies and marketers with better solutions to social media. And um, we've evolved quite a bit since then. And really what we've evolved into now is a company that's really focused on kind of solving the data dilemma. And the data dilemma being on both sides, the com consumer side as well as the marketing side. And so from a consumer side, we've built a platform that allows consumers to own and control their own data in terms of who it, how it's being shared, who it's being shared with in a completely transparent way. And then most importantly, data has become a $34 billion industry in which consumers receive nothing. And so with our platform, we're actually rewarding consumers for sharing their data. Um, and it's, it's turned into a really big phenomenon through through social media and through people downloading our site and engaging with our platform. And that would be the uh, big token, right? Yep, absolutely, bigtoken.com. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's available on um, the App Store and uh, through Google Play and then also just a web version at bigtoken.com. Okay, that's cool. I, we've kind of, uh, my partner and I have, um, you know, we were introduced to it and we've, you know, set up our accounts and started playing around with it a little bit. It's a, it's a really, um, very user friendly, uh, but I like the whole concept of of consumers being able to kind of own that and actually get a get a little piece of the pie. Yeah, it's been, it's been interesting. We started the year um, with a goal to have five hundred thousand registrants, and um, we are currently at sixteen million. Wow! And rising. Wow, so that's cool. Yeah, it's 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 taken off quite a bit. Once the consumers started to, you know, there's been a, an awakening amongst consumers around what's been happening with their data. Mm -hmm. And once they discover that there's a solution for them, uh, people have really, really taken, taken on to it. And, um, and they're enjoying using it and sharing their data and sharing information about themselves and receiving the rewards most of all. So kind of seg to segue from that and 
kind of talk a little bit about that from the you know the data from the marketing side as well. How are how is Shrax differentiating yourselves on that side of it from a marketing standpoint? Yeah, so you know obviously the consumer awakening has created a lot of uh, regulatory uh, events and legislation. Uh, we've seen it in Europe already with GDPR, and now we're seeing it in the U.S. with the California Consumer Privacy Act, um, in which 15 plus states are now looking to adopt. This is all going into place by the end of this year. And so for marketers, Big Token does two really significant things. Number one, it's compliant with all of those data concerns and privacy laws. Mm -hmm. So anything that's coming down the road that we've identified, we've built our site to be compliant with those. Um, the other significant thing is we built our site for data accuracy. And so what we found in, in most of our own research is there's a lot of inconsistencies in data. Like for instance, I might now be, if you look at my data, in seven different household income segments. Mm -hmm. And so what Big Token is able to do really well is to put people in the actual segment and verify where they really are at that point in time so that marketers who come to us and need to execute campaigns are executing a much, against a much better set of data. Right, right. Um, I think this may be a good opportunity to take a little quick break, uh, recognize our show sponsors. Um, and uh, when we get back, we're going to get into, uh, I'd like to get into just a little bit more detail about your platform uh, at Shrax and kind of the way it works from a, from a marketing uh, standpoint, because sure. I know our audience will be uh, very interested in that. So, Absolutely. So we're going to take a quick break, uh, recognize our sponsors for today's show, and we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Digital Marketing Today. <music> Welcome back to Digital Marketing Today. We're here with Randy Clark, uh, EVP of Sales with Shrax. We were just talking before we took a break about the importance of accurate data, both from a consumer standpoint and from the marketing standpoint. And we mentioned briefly your guys' uh, platform, Big Token, and how and how that's taken off. Um, how how does that platform kind of integrate with the, the rest of your services that you provide at Shrax and, and why is that important to both the consumer and the marketer? Yeah, so it, it's, it's great. So I would encourage everybody if they have an opportunity to go to Big Token, um, either through your mobile device or on the web-based platform and download it and take a look because it, it really is very intuitive. It's very easy to use. There's no cost to it and there's only reward to the consumer. Um, but really what we're doing is we're addressing again those, that consumer awakening, um, the data privacy issues as well as the legislation. So when you log onto our platform, you're basically saying, I know what's happening with my data. You're telling me in a completely transparent way what you're doing with it. And for sharing my data, I'm being rewarded. And you can actually track your rewards. We reward people with cash, gift cards, or um, even donations to their favorite charitable oh, cool. organizations. That's uh, cool. So, I didn't realize that was a part of the platform. Too. Yeah, awesome. yeah, and you actually get more rewards if you choose that option. So it's really cool if you're looking to support, um, you know, a specific philanthropy. Okay, awesome. So from the accuracy standpoint, mm -hmm. you talked a little bit about, you said, you know, the, you know, like your profile might be putting you in all these different categories as I'm sure everybody else. And I know from a marketer standpoint, it gets really frustrating sometimes <laughs> trying to, yes, it does. And particularly trying to deliver for a client that, you know, we could go to all this trouble to, to consult with them and help them kind of figure out exactly who their target audience is. 
and then you go and start looking for that audience and it can get really frustrating sometimes so how do how do you integrate the the data accuracy piece that you guys do into the services that you provide for marketers yeah so it's it's basically a validation process that includes three steps so once you're sharing your data through big token then obviously it would know so a, a great example is recently i w visited new york um, i went into a scotch and soda store um, which is a clothing store and um, and so then after that visit, Big Token will then validate, number one, it's gonna validate, did I actually visit the store? Because I may have just been somewhere close by. So it asked me the question. Mm -hmm. So through a consumer survey, uh, do you shop at Scotch and Soda? Yes, no, sometimes. So now I've got, it's, it's validated, if I say no, that the information that they previously had on my location is probably incorrect. Mm. If I say yes or sometimes, then it knows. It can continue to ask follow-up questions. The next step of validation could be actually, because with the Big Token app, you can actually tie purchases into your data and you get even more rewards for that. Mm. So then it could validate not only did I make a purchase or but how big that purchase was and what was purchased. Mm. So it's, it's a three-step validation process that basically takes our accuracy levels up to 99.7% and higher. Wow. It's pretty incredible. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. So, um, so from a brand perspective, I'm sure that, I mean, that data is very, you know, very valuable to, let's say, scotch and soda, right? I mean, for them to, for them to know exactly actually who's coming in and where they came from and, and what they're purchasing. So. Yeah, we have, we have a lot of um, research and survey solutions that we're able to offer brands through our platform, mm -hmm. which is really, really interesting, something new for us, but it basically allows our clients to have an audience with their consumers and ask them any question that they'd like to know. Mm -hmm. um, and, we, and, and we do that quite successfully. Maybe like a, a typical campaign might be to take that data and then use that in, in certain ways for, for a brand? Right, or? so from a marketer standpoint, what makes Big Token so important is that we know this legislation's coming. Mm -hmm. We know that consumers are, awake, are awoke, or woke about what's going on with their, with their data. And so we're addressing both those things. So as a company, for instance, we're working with like Kraft Heinz and they're running advertising with us in which they state you know, Kraft Heinz cares about your privacy and your data, and therefore we're working with Big Token to make sure that we're adherent to all the privacy laws and your concerns. Mm -hmm. So brands are wanting to align themselves with Big Token to be on the right side of this data conversation. So that's one thing. Um, the compliant piece is also important because it prevents liability on their, point, on their side as mm -hmm. these regulations and things go into effect. And then the data accuracy piece is really most around an efficiency standpoint. So if our data is 99.7% accurate um, and other data that you're purchasing through third parties is, you know, let's say 50 to 70% accurate, you can imagine that there's a significant lift on the back end in performance. Mm -hmm. So basically what it means to marketers is we take all of the data, first party data, second party data, third party data, real time social learnings, um, and, and the client's data if they have more to share. We put all the data into the punch bowl, mm -hmm. right? And then what we're pulling out is the data that's gonna provide the best result. So we go from the best data to determining who the right audience is from that data. We deliver it sort of site agnostically or platform agnostically across you know, dozens and dozens of platforms and channels and devices. Mm -hmm. And the result of that is higher than industry, much higher than industry average um, return on investment, KPI mm -hmm. and performance. So we're real proud of what, what, it, what the result of having better data leads to. Yeah, no, that's, that's, uh, that's really impressive. So I think the, uh, the, the whole idea behind the, the big token is just uh, ingenious as well as far as 
We like to think so. We're, we're, our, our CEO um, is a very visionary person um, and, a, and one of those guys that you really get excited to work for. We kind of don't know from day to day what the next big idea that this guy is, is going to bring to us. And so it, it makes for a pretty exciting work environment. Uh, but we, we are very proud to be in this data battle mm -hmm. and to have been developing Big Token for over two new years now. So we were really looking ahead mm -hmm. um, at a time where maybe a lot of companies weren't. Yeah, I mean, it's a, I, it seems like there's going to be a lot of people that are going to get uh, kind of thrown under the bus with the regulations and things that are, you know, that are coming down the pipe. So it's... It's important to be on the on the right side of that and then kind of ahead of the curve. Absolutely. I mean, we've seen millions and millions of dollars of fines levied in Europe mm -hmm. um, because of GDPR. Uh, we've also seen programmatic advertising down 50%. Mm -hmm. um, and so we, we want to leave people with more options than just being able to work with the walled gardens. I mean, we know that Facebook and we know that Google have a tremendous amount of data. And we work with them and partner with them very well. But we know that there's additional options out there that brands and companies need to take advantage of. Mm -hmm. And with the data privacy laws and everything that's coming down the line, they may not be able to do that as effectively if they cannot find a partner mm -hmm. like Strax that can offer them this big token data. Awesome. Well, I think that's a good kind of spot to wrap things up with for today uh again i really appreciate you taking the time to stop by and uh share about shrax and i'm sure there's probably uh some brands and or agencies out there that are interested in getting in touch with you so what's the best way for somebody to to reach out and start a conversation well i would say you know thank you um and other than talking about my wife and family this is my favorite thing to talk about <laughs> right. so um yeah you can reach out to us anytime our website is shracks.com or big i would encourage you also to go to bigtoken.com or to download um, our app on the google on google play or the app store and start engaging with us and if you need to get any information or get in touch with anybody within our organization, um, you can email SRAX anytime at info at SRAX.com and we'll, we'll have somebody, you know, get in touch with you and provide you with whatever information it is that you need. We, we're always looking for more partners um, and we're really aggressively wanting to go and we're going to help people get on the right side of this data conversation. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, yeah. thanks. Thanks again for dropping by. Yeah, thank you, Mark. And, Appreciate uh, it. When you're uh, when you're in this neck of the woods again, stop by again. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Got a big affinity for Dallas, so I'm cool. I'm looking forward to my next trip, and we'll we'll be in touch. Awesome. All right. Yeah. Well, that's it for this week's episode of Digital Marketing Today. Again, I'm Mark Neese with Sync Lab Media. If you're interested in starting your own video podcast get in touch with us. We have subscription programs. It's easy to do, and uh, we do all the hard work for you. So we'll see you next time on Digital Marketing Today.